Hi everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com and today I'm here to share with you some of my favorite tips and tricks for creating beautiful bows and square knots. If there's a question I get asked more than any other, it's how do you make a pretty bow? And let me tell you, I understand that it is difficult, but I've learned a few things over the years that have really helped and so I'm here to share with you today. So um, I'm just going to show just using one of our clear blocks how to tie just a basic bow. So let's say you had a box or maybe some a set of cards. You're going to take your ribbon, whatever ribbon works for you, and um, the, the tail that is on your right I want you to make just a tiny bit bigger. And we're going to start by going right over left. You're going to hear me use that phrase a lot. Always begin right over left just like you're tying your shoes. You guys all know how to tie your shoes, right? Well, when we tie our shoes, we typically go like this, don't we? Well, when it comes to pretty bows, we actually don't want to go right to left. We want to go up and down. So if you'll bring that up and down, and you can see I have a really nice tight um, center there. So I'm going to just hold that while I work. I'm now going to start with the tail that is towards me, and I'm going to make a loop. I'm then going to take the tail that's uh, up, and I'm going to bring it over, and you're just going to take it, and I'm going to loop it. Hopefully you can see this. I'm just making a loop to go underneath. It's probably easier, you know, because you know how to tie a shoe. It's the same method. It's just all about tying those loops straight. Now we're going to give that a little tug, and at this point you can see my um, tails are going down. I can make those loops a little bit smaller if I need to. And I have a really nice bow that's laying nice and flat. And I have a very nice center to my bow. You guys know what I mean when the tails start going every which way. But the biggest trick pulling up and down is going to save you a lot of frustration. Now another um, question that I get is how to make pretty square knots. There's a lot of times maybe we don't have as much ribbon. Oh no, there's not enough to tie a bow. Well, how about do a square knot? I love using square knots. So let me show you how to do that. Same thing in my uh, the tail that's on the right. I want that to be just a little bit longer. Right over left, just like we've done before, and under. Right over left and under, and just like we did, we're going to pull that tight. You can see that's kind of going ski wampus. So we want to make sure we've given that a good pull up and down. So I've gone right over left. Now I'm going to go left over right and under. So right over left and under, left over right and under. And here is the trick. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to give this a pull just to kind of get it started so, you know, everything doesn't cut loose. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to hold both these tails and I only want you to pull what is in your left hand. And watch this. When I pull only in my left hand and I kind of manipulate that, do you see I'm holding this one firm and only pulling here? And look at that beautiful square knot. I can now trim my tails down and I'm going to have a really great square knot. If I want that to come a little bit more off to the side, you're going to be able to feel which direction that knot wants to go. In my case here, it's wanting to pull this way, which is fine, but I can also make them lay nice and flat as well. Now I'm just going to show you one more quickie bow, okay, quickie bow. So let's say you don't, you just want a bow. You don't want it to tie around something. You just need a bow. Maybe you're going to attach it to a card or something. I've got my ribbon, and if you'll just make two loops, just like that. Nothing fancy. You don't even have to get crazy about it. Just make two loops, and you're just going to tie them just like you were tying your shoe. Okay, that looks awful, right? Well, don't worry about it because that's just the start. I can now manipulate those um, loops and then when you flip it over actually it's the other side that's your pretty side of course that all depends on how you're holding it of course but I can now pull pull those loops till I can get them the way I want but you can see it is helping my um, bow and my tails go in just the right direction. And I have a pretty little knot there. Um, this side's really not even too bad but usually there's one uh, loop that likes to be a little bit funky. So we're going to turn it over on this side. So that's just another way that you can um, tie just a quick bow. So guys, simple little video for today, but I thought you might enjoy just my little tips and techniques for bow time. 
I hope you find that useful, and uh, I want to encourage you guys to check out Simply Simple Stamping. There's always something new, always something fun waiting for you there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>